I didn't seek out ITC for the Craft Center. ITC found us, and some of the benefits of this product I could see immediately. My name is Jennifer Siegel. I manage the clay studio for the NC State University Craft Center. Um, sitting in front of our Cone 10 gas reduction kiln right now, which recently has gone through some applications using ITC coatings 100HT and the 296A. I've worked with Greg and Mike and Justin and could not be more satisfied with their product. Uh, so I wanted to let you guys know some of the benefits. Like talking about the heat around the gas kiln. A Cone 10 gas reduction kiln is going to fire to 2,350 degrees Fahrenheit. Incredibly hot. And before I put this coating on the kiln, the outside surface was above 300 degrees Fahrenheit. But with the product, I saw that temperature decrease by at least 30 degrees. And the room itself was less than 100 degrees. Normally this space gets pretty hot. Um, but an incredible difference in temperature. Um, so from a safety perspective, I think that's a great benefit for people who have kilns in their homes um, or maybe close to their homes in an outdoor structure. Uh, this product could definitely increase the safety of your firings. With the Raku kiln, I really could see a difference. Like I said, it was almost too quick for us to maintain. My students were pulling pots out of the kiln and putting them in the reduction bins and then the next minute I was yelling 1802 and we were lining up for the next firing. It was, it was truly exciting. Uh, to see that change in the length. I've had an incredible experience um, with these two products. I, I like to think of them as a coat of armor for your kiln. And what I mean by that is that they're um, instantly protecting the brick in your kiln. Um, it strengthens your firing and um, prolongs the life of your kiln in general. Um, in the treatment of the gas-fired and Reku kilns here at NC State University's Craft Center, <laughs> NC products are water-based, so no solvents are required for dilution or cleanup. On curing, they are environmentally inert and do not require any special handling or disposal. Both ITC 100HT and 296A are mixed at a 2 to 1 ratio, so one gallon of coating is mixed with a half a gallon of water. The preferred method of application is to spray the coatings onto the substrate using a commercially available textured drywall hopper spray gun. In the application shown here in this video, I am using a Binks 2 gallon pressure pot spraying rig. Square foot coverage rates are 50 to 100 square feet per gallon of ITC 100HT and 100 to 200 square feet per gallon of ITC 296A. Once cured, ITC products produce a very hard protective surface over soft, friable refractories such as insulating firebricks, IFBs, and ceramic fiber blankets. ITC coatings produce cleaner operating environments in kilns and furnaces, resulting in higher temperatures, lower fuel consumption, and shorter process times.